Hi. How y'all doing? I'm good. Um, I wanted to talk about addiction today. Okay? So, addiction. To alcohol, pills, narcotics. Alright? Oh, I used to drink a lot when I was younger. Yeah, too much. It was horrible. Beer. I didn't like who I was at all. So, I quit several times. You fall down, you get pick yourself up, and you do it again. So, the thing about alcohol is, they call it spirits, right? Alcohol has spirits in it. Or let's go buy some spirits, right? Spirits are energy, okay? Good or bad. Alcohol spirits are bad energy. So, every time you put that bottle to your lips and you drink that alcohol, you are consenting to have bad energy in your body, right? Yeah, that's why you drink too much, you black out, you can't remember what you said, what you did, where you were, whatever. And yeah, there's a reason for that. That energy is real. Think of it as a beam that's invisible. You can't see it. Every time you drink it, you're consenting. You're inviting that energy to come into your body. And that energy, you don't know what it is. That energy likes to drink. It likes to do drugs. Could like to have sex with multiple different kinds of people. You don't know. It could want to do hard drugs. It could want to create mayhem and mischief. Right? And yeah. By consenting to letting it come in, you've just given up your consciousness, your subconscious, to this energy. That's why you feel so bad the next day. Because it wasn't you. Right? So, don't hate yourself because of what you've done. Realize it was not you. It was this evil spirit energy that you invited into your body. So, it's poison also. Right? You can't just, once you've been drinking poison for a while, like months, years, whatever, every day, you can't just quit drinking because it just doesn't work that way. You've got to wean yourself off a little bit less every day until your body gets used to not having that poison. Until you're down to so little, you know, a sip or a bottle, then you're good to go. You don't need it anymore. Get rid of it. And don't accept that energy back into your life. Don't consent to it. Same as drugs. The doctor almost killed me with narcotics. Had me on for 10 years. I gained over 100 pounds. I could hardly walk. I was in a bed. I was in so much pain. It was horrible. And then I went to a rheumatologist. And he diagnosed me. And said, these drugs are, are, are what causing you harm, Teresa. You need to wean your get off of them. And I was, all right, thank you so much. Went back to the, the other doctor. He's a moron. And he's like, well, okay, well, this is how you do it. Blah, blah, blah. One pill this day, no pill for two days, another pill the next day. He was trying to kill me. Like he did by putting me on them. So I decided, no, I'm not listening to him. He's not a very smart man. So what I did is I took the pill and I broke it into four pieces. And I would only take a little piece when, I, when my, my dose was due. And I would do that for about a week. And then I took those little four pieces and I broke them into eight pieces. And I would only take one of those little pieces every time a dose was due. Until the pieces got so small that it didn't matter. And I didn't have withdrawals or anything. So I go back to this moron Bawa doctor, right? And I was like, okay, well, I'm off the pills because uh, he wanted to do all these tests and shit on me. And he was like, oh, so uh, how'd you do that? Nobody's ever done that before. Do you want to go over and I'll hook you up to my methadone clinic because he owns the methadone clinic at where I live, right? He says, and he wants to put me on another uh, narcotic to quit narcotics. I was like, why in the heck would I want a narcotic to quit a narcotic? I've already quit that narcotic. No, thank you. I'm fine. Right? And I was like, oh, well, it could help. And I was like, no. Right? And in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, it'll line your pocket. Right? Because he owns that business over there. Plus his, his office over here. Right? 
just like corrupt. So yeah, and I quit. It was wonderful, right? I had to go inside myself after though and do meditation, a lot of um, healing my brain. Um, and I did that by subliminal hypnosis, hip subliminal frequencies, self-hypnosis YouTube, uh, videos on YouTube. And it worked. That stuff really works because I figured, if, hey, if they can subliminally program you to not know yourself at all and to buy all the crap products there and eat all the crap food and to follow their, yeah, stupid information, right? Then I can bring, I can, I can subliminally do it to myself and it worked, right? It's a beautiful thing. So addiction, you need to get rid of that stuff. It's not self-love. It's harming you. You have people that love you. It's time you smartened up. Respect yourself. Every time you see that bottle of alcohol, when you before you put it in your mouth, think of the little friggin' evil thing inside, evil creature being inside it going, come on, drink me. I want to have fun. It's time to go cause mischief, mayhem. Do everything that isn't good, right? Yeah, that's how I look at it, at it anyway. So I'm hoping you all enjoy your day. And I love you all. All right? All right. Bye.